So, do you have any thoughts on the last Hobbit movie that just came out? I have a giant field of thoughts on the last Hobbit Like a movie. giant field of gold, like Smaug. Exactly. Had. Do you have any problem with that? I have a problem that they call him Smaug. Smaug? Smaug. And I, I, feel I like, like Smaug. I like Smaug. I grew up with Smaug. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a research decision, but at the same time... I don't think that. I almost feel like maybe there was like a Lost Tales rights thing where they like the true pronunciation. They say yeah, the Tolkien estate owns <laughs> pronouncing it like smog. Smog. So smog. we're gonna call him Smog. Yeah. But it's like I feel like the whole buildup of the Hobbit films was that it was Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, okay. Sherlock and Holmes. It's gonna be super <laughs> cool. They have a great rapport. They've been doing the show and for all these track? years. And where was the scene? Oh no! Where scene. was the scene? No scene there for you. The scene, the rapport wasn't there. Okay. And they totally just take out all of the best parts of that chapter. And it's like, why well, how did much, you take that out? How much rapport do you want? Because Martin Freeman was literally acting against nobody in that scene. Like, there was, Mark, Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch was not there. He was acting fantastically against Andy Serkis as oh, Gollum. Ooh, true. But Andy Serkis one. was actually there. Interesting. Mm. They were like, okay, we nailed the she-elf pretty dwarf love story. Awesome. This is going to be great. Did you like that? Hated it. Yeah. And I didn't hate <laughs> the right. scenes themselves. I mean, every time I see a pretty dwarf, I hate it. I hate it. You don't like I don't accept it. Dwarves should be just ugly and nasty. Dwarves are burly, gross. I want to like Christopher Plummer or like... A Smaug? As, no, as Thorn. Oh, as Thorn. I Christopher want, like, Plummer? Yeah, like a grudsy wow. old... General Chang. Yeah. That's wow. what I want. But I mean, I wanted Christopher Plummer as Dumbledore. Interesting. Because I'm not crazy about either Dumbledore. Wow, okay. I, I thought Richard Harris did a good job. I thought he was all right, but could you have imagined him fighting Voldemort? No, and no, no. He exactly. would have died. He would have, like, he would have buckled oh, and hey. collapsed. And Michael Gambon was a different oh. Dumbledore in every movie. In the third one, he was the he's, stoner. He's the tricksy Dumbledore, yeah. I feel like. He's mm -hmm. the Dumbledore that you're just like, you want to slap. Yeah. Like, you're just like, look, you're not, you're not helping me out. And he's like, aren't I? Yeah. And they're like, no. No, you're not. <laughs> right. But then in the... Th Fourth one, so I feel like he's stoned in the third one, he's drunk in the fourth one. <laughs> when Harry's name comes out of the goblet, and he just runs at him and grabs him and slams him against the wall, and he's like, Harry, what have you done? It's like, whoa! I like Dumbledore as this drunk, abusive father, be like, Harry! <laughs> <laughs> and then he slept through the rest of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's good that he died. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say there are these moments that just need to be amazing. Anakin Skywalker turning into Darth Vader needed to be amazing. It wasn't. No! It was terrible. Yeah. It was hideous. Yep. Uh, Smog confronting Bilbo Baggins needed to be awesome. The dragon looked cool, mm -hmm. but they put more focus on a big giant gold statue covering Smog. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, was become the an idol. stupid thing. Would Wait. the Hobbit work as a slapstick? I think yes. And it's like in the degree that Princess Bride is oh. a comedy. Okay. So who, that's how I would work. Okay, it. so you'd have to introduce an enemy that was not in the books for Martin Freeman to like have a, a challenge with, you know, like the Inyo Mon Montoya. Uh -huh. Like let's say an ugly it dwarf. It doesn't exist in the book. Oh, he feels that that he feels that Bilbo mm -hmm. took his place in the group. He should have been the thirteenth oh. member. He should have been the bird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His name is is Joran. Joran. Joran, played by Mandy Patinkin. Mandy Patinkin. I'm, I'm okay Mandy with that. Patinkin. Okay. So there, there's who make a fantastic. In fact, he could have been Thorin. Mm. Mandy Patinkin as Thorin. Thickened. Nose, I, I like him. Joran. 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 Could a musical number work in this? There are. They sang two, a song. There are three musical numbers in the first Hobbit film. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Mm. Far over the misty mountains cold. Yep. And then That's the um, in the extended edition, they have the, the song, the Goblin song. I just imagine which is incredible. Scene. Imagine the scene that Joran just showing up and being like, "Look, I can sing. I can sing Misty Mountains, guys. I can sing Misty Mountains." Yeah. So Joran is the dwarf that didn't want, that wanted to be the burglar, but he wanted wasn't. to be the burglar, but Thorin was like, "No, get out of here." Yeah. So it's you're like, too old mm -hmm. and Jewish. That's what they said. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we made a plea to Peter Jackson, I think we could fix the third Hobbit movie. You think? Mandy Patinkin as Joran. Mandy Patinkin as Joran, the vengeful dwarf who didn't get his part of the company. I think it would work. What if Joran showed up and like? Gave him a musical number. Oh, I will be heartbroken if he doesn't. Man, crushed. What do you think? Of, what do you think a Joran music number for the Hobbit, third Hobbit would be? All right. Um, but make this your audition tape. Like this is your audition <clears> for <throat> Peter Jackson. Here you go. Look at the oh, look right at the camera. All Let's right. Mm. Tell me if you need backup. I might. <clears throat> to the east is a feast for kings. 
Goes to the west is a dream unbounding. All the dwarves will eat of the beast and eat of the meat, and we will go underground, under hill. We will stop the king, this false king, under the mountain with his pretty boy face. Do you see that his beard doesn't have coverage of his neck? Why does this dwarf have such a pretty neck? I don't know. He must go. Man, Mandy Patinkin. Mm hmm. Mandy Patinkin's gonna kill it. I think we just solved the Hobbit. I think we did. I think mm. we did. Cheers. Because the tap dancing, like every, essentially, he would do an, a routine, and every, at the end of every routine, the flourish would be like a body part shifting.